Welcome back to part two of this fun picking adventure. Gary and I are thrifting all over Las Vegas. And at the end of this episode, we're gonna have a delicious bite to eat and recap all our finds from this episode and the last one. So sit back, relax, and join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband, Gary, and our son, Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. Okay, so now we're in another Goodwill. What do you think, Gary? It looks pretty crowded, huh? Whoa, look at this piece. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of like a lucite bird. This looks like silver plate. It says it's silver plated and it's made in Argentina. I don't know why I am attracted to that. Well, it's a bird. I kind of really like that. I think I'm going to pick it up. It's calling to you? It is. It's a bird calling to me. Okay. Let's see what else. I'm looking, seeing a lot of clear glass, as usual. That's just kind of a production piece. And let's keep looking down here. You're up there, so you see lots of glasses. Now let's see if these vases have anything to offer. Looks like we have a, a Scentsy or a candle warmer of a kind. It's not a Scentsy. I know. It's terribly cracked. <laughs> Would you like to wear that for St. Patrick's Day? I don't think so. I think, that's, thank you. I think that's a negative, correct? <laughs> You're a good sport, though. You have worn some things. Let's see. What else? This is like the top of some sort of candle warmer, but it's holiday theme. And I'm looking. I don't see anything else on this shelf. Let's turn the corner and see what we can find. It looks like somebody donated their entire bell collection. I like this one though, because it's Monaco and Monte Carlo. Well, that one's come a long way. I think that is so fun. Look at Monaco on that. I love that. I'm going to get that. I want to go to Monte Carlo so bad. I think that'd be such a fun place to go. I've heard it's become extremely touristy, but I still think it would be fun. I'm going to get that. Okay. I just like Put it. it in the cart. I am. They've also been, of course, to New York City, Virginia, San Antonio, lots and lots of traveling. And this is the little swan pomodor. You would fill that with... How about Malta? What do you see, Malta? Ah, there we go. I've got a bag of shells here. Look at these. I think there's something that you would get like at a seaside town because there's like a net in there. But boy, if you were crafting and you wanted um, to have a lot of shells on hand, that's really nice. I'm going to leave those for someone else. I know these? someone who'd like those for their aquarium. Oh, <laughs> look at these. These are, um, oh, they're like refrigerator magnets and so forth. Um, there's a pottery one in there. Let's leave that. What is that little? A oh, it's paperweight? Of sorts. I don't quite know what it is. We've got a lot of crying kids in here today, don't we, Gary? Look at this little frog. Ribbit. Let's see what else we have. We have an angel. We have some kind of uh, unpainted busts, unglazed. And look, look down here. Got a fancy schmancy little tray there kind that you would find 
at Home Goods. I like a lot of the Home Goods items. They have some interesting things there. They really do. They get some beautiful items. What is this? I like fancy schmancy too. Is that an official term? It is. It's it's my you know dictionary term for it. I'm just gonna run up here real quick and see what this is. I see something hanging out here. What is it? Life is your canvas. No one can paint it but you. That's that fun. Terrible? That's a little sign. I like that. I think that'd be a great little giveaway for someone. Uh, would be. Yeah. Let's let's put that in the cart. So far, I've, I've got a whole lot of There's little a things. Shoe up here. What, right here. Yeah. Um, I think that is a project piece from somebody. It's got a little chip on it too, a little chippy. I was looking at this piece down here. This looks like an expensive piece of glass. See how clear that is? It's not marked, but this kind of uh, texture is very indicative of the Swedish glass. However, it's missing something. I have no idea what it's missing in the middle there. We recently got a uh, set of bookends that are very similar to that. We do, except they're completely lucite. I can't wait to look them up. I haven't a chance to do research on them yet. Squirrel. Oh no, a headless tortoise. This is real. Oh, look at you. Aren't you just finding stuff? This is, that's not Mexico though, it's Hungary. Made in Hungary. It's like a, a um, like a dessert or breakfast bowl. I think these would be better in a set. But look at the turtle I pulled down. Do you see this? It's signed. That is Mexican pottery and it is broken. Oh, that's too bad. Isn't that sad? Oh, that's so sad. That's heartbreaking. That's a really good piece. I'm so sad. Do you think we should get this? I think these do better in sets. I will defer to you on that. <laughs> You're so sweet. What do you see? Oh, I thought this was light. That's a heavy apple. And what do we have here? We have, oh, we have a little, a religious box. Oh, we have one down here too. Of the Virgin Mary. Actually, it's really pretty. Let's put those two together. There are a pair of these. They're not marked, but they are very heavy. Yeah, they're like a production piece, I believe. Ooh, be careful, honey. Look at this. There is a fish hook up here. Uh, I see that. That's a little dangerous. Yeah. Let's like put it right there so people don't reach in and get themselves impaled. All right, let's keep going down here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that this is the shelf that William and I found the historic club ashtray on uh -huh. so we're like always sentimental about this shelf we're always going to find something good in this shelf a little piece of tiny little handmade wedding pots it's like there's a match to it over there with a the little pot oh yeah no i like that one that one's kind of attractive a little drip glaze on it oh i'm not so sure though i'm trying to see does that look like it's a signature of some kind? What do, you, do you see anything there? Or am I just imagining it? Uh, yeah, I don't see anything on that. You don't? Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to I'm gonna leave that little piece. It's a little light. So I don't think it's as good as we would like it to be. What is that? It is... Oh, look at this. Mount Rushmore. That looks like an old piece. But what are they? Oh, it's a little sugar and creamer. Do you see that? A little sugar and creamer. Uh, yeah. But the creamer is missing its lid. So I'm going to leave that. Well, may not be any uh, store club ashtrays for us today. This is a signed artist piece, little dish but it looks like it might have been a saucer. It's kind of like a little indentation there. Right, let's keep looking. This is a very famous style. These are made in Mexico, right there. And they're kind of like harder than paper mache, but 
that you see, a, you find a lot of these. Let's see what else. Okay. What is this guy? What are you? You're a mouse doctor. You're a little mouse doctor. And you are not marked. Why, what is that for? He's going to whip his patients into shape, huh? Let's see what else we have. You seen anything up there, Mr. Tall Guy? Oh, that is a, that is a um, handmade piece. I think it's missing a lid, though. They went $10 for it. It is a bear on one side and a cactus on the other. And it would be a little votive. It is signed. What do you think? Do you like that piece? Uh, what I think is, you know what I need? What? More cowbell. I'm trying to decide on this piece. I think we're going to leave it. I just don't think it's a high enough quality for what I would like to see. The metal section is pretty full. Whether or not we can find something we want is the question of the day. This is enormous. And that would need a very big shipping box. Very, very big. I'm just looking at these leaf dishes. I don't think that they're... Oh, yeah, they're very new. Huh. Just thought they were interesting looking. All right, let's keep on going here. Do you see anything? What does it say? A L N. Not sure what that says over here. A. A yes, A. But there's several of them, so it's spelling something. We have a little. What is this? This is a little. Queen Anne silver plated tableware made in England. Very, very lightweight piece. Those are stocking hangers that are very, very heavy. And then we have up here, we have a cream and sugar. That is just a silver plate. This is kind of like an, wants to be like an old fashioned porcelain. It's not. Imported general store fudge, candies, and groceries. It sold, hey, look at that. It sold for $30. It's an Ashland piece. Or, no, actually, it was $30 in Canada. Canada and 20 here. And now Goodwill is asking 10 Let's keep looking. Oh, look at that canister back there. Look over here. I've seen these and they can sell for a lot of money sometimes. I'm not going to pick it up. Just curious. It's a paw. So it's to keep your, your doggy treats in. It's not marked. I know that there's certain ones that are marked that are worth quite a bit of money. I think I'll leave it right there. Maybe somebody will see it and put their doggy bones in it. That's a kind of a crudely made birdhouse. Let's see if there's anything in the wood section. Colorful basket, but it's got a lot of damage in it. Look at the shape of this. It's in an expensive piece but I like the way it harkens to that kind of the French countryside. Always, always a good look. And lots and lots of signs. Sign of the times. This is one of those wood puzzles in the shape of a vintage teardrop camper. It's fun. Oh, that's a, that is a big, big tray. 
Is that monkey pod wood? It could use a lot of rescuing, but the shape is, is really quite lovely. Looks like it could be walnut. I don't know. I'm I'm just not good with uh, with woods like that. Let's see. Again, just tons and tons of signs. What is that? It's a bank. bank. It's a beer Corona bank. It actually looks pretty vintage. And I think that wraps up our tour of the wood section. Let's go to another aisle. Look at all this clear glass. What is this? This looks like a little Japanese box. Oh, look at that. That's too bad one's missing. I know. The little panda bottles. I want to open one. I just want to see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, I wonder if that's broken. Or if it's supposed to be like that. Let's see if there's another one. Maybe it's different. Nope, that's the way they're supposed to be. There's little flowers inside. Hmm. I don't think they're super expensive and they want twelve ninety nine. So I think I'm going to let those go. But It'd be a different story if they were all there. I know. If they were all there, I might really pick it up. So we've just got our usual plethora of clear glass. But again, you know, I don't discount it because I could find really, really expensive glass in here. I mean, hey, it was also on one of these shelves that I found that clear glass Tiffany apple, the paperweight. So, well, that's not a Tiffany apple. No, it is not. Ooh, look at here. Now we're getting some colored glass. That's fun. And then we can look at the mugs. Always a good thing. These, look at these down here, Gary. These look old. They're extremely dirty, but they do look old. Looks like it could be from the 60s. Mm-hmm. And there's a set of them. But they're just, I think they're just too far gone, honestly. And finally, let's just take a look at the mugs. Again, as always, we are looking for handmade mugs, artisan made mugs. I don't see anything offhand. All right, well, I think there, it's a no go on the mugs for today. Let's try the dishes. Let's take a look and see if we can see anything in the dish section. This is also a little bit of a mishmash, and people do put things down. Look at this little tiny little brass ashtray. It's very lightweight, but that doesn't really belong in the dish section. So you can find things that have migrated around the store. You just never know. Look at these little clear clear dishes. Pretty, aren't they? Well, looks like there's three of them. It looks like there's, yeah, there's a whole, Four. quite a few of them. And very colorful dishes and bowls and all sorts of things. That is made in China. Let's see. All right, well, I think we're gonna turn the corner and look at more housewares. Let's see what this little candlestick is made in Portugal. It looks like there's only one of them. I don't see another one. A little bud vase. 
unmarked. We'll leave that. And let's just keep going. Let's keep looking. See what else we find. This looks like a ray done. It is beet. I assume that means eggs. Could that big one be a match to it? Let's see. Uh, it is whisk. Those are nice kitchen bowls. If you like Ray Dunn, those are a good pickup. They're much too heavy to try to ship, but they're nice. What is this? This is a little, kind of like an incense burner, perhaps. And down here you have just some older pressed glass, and I don't think anything too much to talk about. It's a little sharp up here, not the best quality. What is this? This is a Starbucks. Oh, unfortunately, it's flashed and it's scratched off. Looking to see if we can narrow in on anything that's maybe exciting. Let's keep going this way, Gary. Look at all these bottles in here. We have some really, really beautiful bottles for sale. There was but, another one behind us that we passed by. And yeah. It was kind of cool looking too, but we have so many of those. We do, exactly. I bet you thought that was Lennox. I did and uh, made in Taiwan. It looks so much like Lennox. It really does. Really. That, that's, that would have fooled you. These are super heavy. I'm always looking at these, make sure they're not Lake Creuset. They're Cle. I bet that's probably an expensive brand, but they're very heavy and would be hard to ship. Now, this is an aisle that I don't always go to because I, I usually don't find anything here to tell you the truth, but I'm just looking down here and I noticed Botticelli and I'm trying to see what these are. I think these are prints, uh, contempo contemporary Canadian art series printed in Canada. It looks like the, maybe the work of Botticelli. Those are, those are interesting. And then what is this? These are just art prints, of course. That's fun. That's why I thought we'd come down here today. Maybe we would just find something unusual. And just like in the other aisle, sometimes people just put things down. <laughs> Do you want a shark, honey? That's a kid's toy. Is that left shark or right shark? I don't know which shark that is. Let's call Katy Perry and ask her. Could be center shark. But the thing is, what are kids going to do? Are they going to have the shark eat the girl? That's kind of scary. I'm not so sure how I feel about that shark. I'm not all warm and fuzzy about it, I'll tell you that. All right, I think, um, I think this is it for this aisle. Let's take a look at the art. Look at this. What is this little frame here? It's all wrapped up. Oh, it's so funny. It's got bats all over it. It's kind of a little Halloween frame and it's sunflower designs. That's, that is really fun. It looks like it probably is an expensive little piece. You know, I'm going to pick it up. That's easy to store away. And I think that will go great around Halloween. I think it's kind of cool, Batgirl. Batgirl. Okay, Batman. Golly, gee. That's, that's super cool. <laughs> well, I'm not seeing too much in the art right now. So. You have the sink. It's everything but, right? What is this back here? Can you reach that with your other hand? Look at the beaded work on that. Oh, it's a scene made out of beads. It took a lot of work that to do that. I'm surprised it's framed. I almost feel like it, it, some other way of displaying it might be more interesting. 
doesn't quite fit that frame properly, but that, boy, that's a lot of work. All right, let's look down here, see if we see anything at all. Got some palm trees that I think it used to be a clock and a nice desert scene. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna find anything in the art today. So let's just take a quick look at the jewelry. Well, on my way to the jewelry, I decided to just check by the first aisle one more time and look what was just sitting here. Tinkerbell, she is so pretty. And uh, she is a Disney original. She's a box. She's fabulous. And she's going to flutter into our cart. Boy, she's heavy. She's a heavy gal. Look at that purple up there. What is that? Can you feel that even? Or let me see if I can. Oh, that's heavy. That is, that is really stunning color. I just don't think it's a super expensive piece though. I think it'd be really, really hard to ship. But that is, that is really pretty. All right, let's get Tinkerbell in our cart. It's too bad the hand is broken on this one. I know. Well, Gary, I've kind of taken a good look through the jewelry and I don't think I see anything today. I'm kind of discriminating on what jewelry I, I purchase. So I think we'll look over there real quick, but I just don't see anything today that passes muster. So we've got some cute little treasures. Let's go check out. After a fun, full day of picking, we're grabbing lunch at Cafe Rio. This restaurant has locations all over Vegas and always looks appetizing. While we enjoy our delicious Mexican lunch, complete with dessert, let's recap today's finds. And I think we found some real treasures, especially that Tanala vase with the owl on it. He's a real hoot. <laughs> and we had a delicious south of the border lunch. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It's absolutely free. Leave us a comment. Give us a like if you had some fun. And please share our channel with your friends and family. It helps us grow. And we want everyone to join the journey. <laughs>